Okay, I figured out the problem with my tail gains with heading lock mode not working as it's supposed to. It uh, turns out it's actually a glitch in the custom programming for the parameters um, when changing on uh, Studio X on the computer. Uh, you can see I'm using Studio X version 3.10, uh, firmware is 5.12. Uh, there I'm in rate mode and you can see my gain is working properly. So there's heading lock, there's rate mode, as you can see there's purple, C, there's blue, F, rate C, blue for heading lock. So when I, let's see if I can prop this up here, in rate mode, it does what it's supposed to, it recenters. When I put it in heading lock, uh, let go of rudder, see it does not center. It will stay wherever it is. And let's see if I can get my third hand going here. I've got a control rod twist tied to the tail. I'm going to use my mouth. Uh, when I rotate the heli, actually let me center it first. Hang on. Alright, rate mode, heading lock mode. Now, I move the heli, it works, for now. Okay, now I will show what causes the problem. Go to parameter setup. Those are all the default values. Now, I figured out that if I change speed flight stability, stick dead zone, I actually haven't tested yet. Uh, let's see here. One, two, three, four. All right, so if I change speed flight stability, pitch boost, or either of the Revo Mix settings, that doesn't matter. It doesn't affect anything. So I can change this. Uh, I will go pitch boost. Let's see. Oh, no. Five, 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 and recenter the servo. Get my third hand back. You can see. Rotate the heli. It moves and doesn't recenter. rudder moved let go all right see does not recenter when I let go of the rudder stick I'll recenter it oh, right mode heading lock mode okay now if I change rudder rate consistency or cyclic response if I change either of those at all it screws up the whole tail gain. Even though the tail gain still shows as being in heading lock mode, it does not operate as heading lock mode, it operates as rate mode. So if I change rudder rate consistency, even just one click. Now, all right, so just to show you, there's rate mode, there's heading lock mode. If I rotate the heli, Servo will compensate, but then it recenters. It's not supposed to do that. I'm about to lose it here. Okay. So you rotate. It's not doing a whole lot. It compensates, but it recenters. And if I move rudder, all right, here, rate mode, heading lock mode. Rudder, let go of stick. Rudder, let go of stick. It recenters. It should not do that. And all I did was change rudder rate consistency one click. And for cyclic response, it's the same way. If I move that even just one click, even if I set it back to zero, so I'll set that back to zero, it doesn't fix the problem. It stays glitched out. As you can see, rate mode, heading lock mode, 
Rudder, recenters. Rudder, let go, recenters. So this is a glitch with the custom programming. I don't know if it's actually involved in the uh, version 5 firmware or if it's a problem with Studio X version 3.1.0, but that is a problem. Uh, I've been chasing tail problems for quite a while now and have finally figured it out. So now I know I cannot change rudder rate consistency or cyclic response without causing impossible tail problems. And the only way to fix it is to do a full factory reset and then I have to go through and reprogram it again and then it's back to normal working fine. Thanks for watching, hope you learned something.